Welcome to the Dream Body Fitness 12 week finish fast challenge. As you are right now faced with the reality that there are things on your to-do list than the number of hours in a day. I wanted to take a moment to talk about time and how you can implement a few proven strategies to set and finish your goals. Are you ready? Let us do this. Time is always on my mind and it's never far from my line of sight because I have strategically placed four clocks around the room and can't look in any direction without seeing one. As I have stressed throughout my challenges, I organized everything with start and predetermined end times. If someone has an in-person or phone appointment with me, they know in advance when it ends, not just when it starts. I have trained and conditioned myself to be hypersensitive to time, and I want to train my clients to respect my hypersensitivity. The question is why? Because your bank balance and your satisfaction or dissatisfaction with it is more a reflection of how you invest your time than a reflection of anything else. This is the most dominant factor in wealth or relative poverty. Success or failure, fulfillment or frustration than all other externals combined. My primary area of specialization is helping people convert intention into results and everything I do and share with you is laser focused on that idea. But the truth is that your ability to be successful in any endeavor is sabotaged or supported by how much control you exercise over the investment of time, direction and consumption of your time and with it your energy and creativity. In reality, time is the asset that you own outright and which you have total control over. I don't really need to follow you around and observe how you use your time to gauge how you are doing your day to day. The only thing I need to hear is your philosophy of time. Your philosophy is what governs your behavior and what you will tolerate or refuse to tolerate in the behavior of others. For example, how do you determine which people you are going to spend your time with? My primary litmus test revolves around commitments. If somebody can't keep seemingly minor commitments, I know I can't trust them to honor important ones either. And if I allow myself to hang around with them, soon there will be the cause of me failing to honor my own commitments. Another example, do you actually view time as money, not just give it to lip service to the idea? Can you tell me what your time must be worth per minute to achieve your income goal? The question I ask myself is this, will this use of my time move me measurably closer to my meaningful goals. Is there even a chance that it will? If not, then why do it? It is difficult to find a clock in any casino for one simple reason. Casinos are designed to separate you from as much of your money as possible to make you a loser. And that is best done by dulling your sensitivity to the passing of time. The same principle applies to your business life. The surest way to lose in life is to be casual about time. I've worked with tens of thousands of people during my career, and I know many people who have converted ideas and sweat equity into fortunes. The difference between them and the majority of people is never the originality or even the quality of their ideas. It all comes down to their respect for time and willingness to execute relentlessly. And that is sheer reality. Execute or be executed. It is how life and business really works. We all get paid for what we get done. And if you know anything about me by now, you know my feelings about execution and implementation. For you to finish your goals, you must do the following four things, and you must do them now. Number one, you must create a success environment for yourself that produces results consistently. Number two, you must impose strict deadlines on yourself and be ruthlessly resistant to wasting your time. Number three, you must hold yourself accountable hour by hour 
And number four, you must execute like your life, career, and future depends on it. If you aren't willing to work under such self-imposed pressure, I suggest you forget the idea of achieving your goals and of ever getting rich or staying rich. Every great life, career, family, or business is run by someone with impeccably very high standards. Someone who is unwilling to negotiate with neither excuses nor mediocrity. There is no denying this truth. One way or the other, you are going to finish this year. Why do not everything in your power to finish strong and be immensely proud of your efforts rather than embarrassed by your lack of it? I created the 12-week Finish Strong Challenge to show you how to finish every day, task and project like a champion. Shall we dance? Let's dance by clicking on the link below and let's start this challenge before the year starts.